Have you ever felt like giving up, like throwing in the towel? Have you ever felt overwhelmed by the challenges that you face, wondering if things will ever get better? Friends, life can be incredibly challenging at times, and the temptation to give up or to stop moving forward can be strong. Whether it is a difficult season at work, challenges in your relationships, financial struggles, or even health issues, the weight of life's burdens can be heavy. In these moments when we are stressed, it is easy to feel stuck. It is easy to wonder if God is even listening or even present with you in your storm. If you have ever felt this way, but you want to move forward, I am inviting you to type in the comment section below. Lord, I declare and decree that I will move forward in faith regardless of what life throws my way. Then I am inviting you to click on the like button as we all stand in agreement together. Friends, I want you to stay with me until the end as I will say a powerful prayer for the Lord to help you to move forward and trust Him to take care of everything when we are stressed, overwhelmed, and just tired. Friends, anytime we let fear dominate us, we begin to slip backward. Fear prevents our progress and it can cause us to want to turn and run instead of aggressively moving forward in faith. If you are unsure, uncertain, or even feeling afraid today, I am inviting you to receive Paul's encouragement, stir up your faith, be on fire for God, and never forget that he is with you and that nothing is too big for him. With God by your side, no matter how difficult things may look, you can do whatever you need to do through him who gives you strength. God's word encourages us to move forward, to keep moving forward, to trust that he is with us and to believe that he will take care of everything. No matter how overwhelming our circumstances may seem, God is always in control and he promises to guide us through every storm regardless of how difficult it may be. In Philippians 3 and verse 14, Paul writes, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Paul's words are a powerful reminder of the importance of perseverance. So despite facing numerous trials, including imprisonment, beatings, and even shipwrecks, Paul continued to press forward, trusting that God had a plan for his life. In the same breath, God has a plan for your life. You may be going through a difficult time in your marriage, in your relationship, in your life, at work, in your family, in your finances or even in your health but friends perseverance is not about ignoring our challenges or pretending that they don't exist it's about continuing to move forward even when the road is difficult because we have the king of kings by our side and nothing that the lord puts us through will be too much for him it is about trusting that God will provide the strength that we need to keep going and believing that he is working behind the scenes even when we cannot see it. Sometimes we get so discouraged because we have been praying, we have been tithing, we have been fasting, we have been trusting God and we have been doing good. But the scripture says that God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Sometimes what he is doing is bigger than you can see. Sometimes he is working on something in your future, but you are going through the rough patches now. When we choose to persevere, we are demonstrating our faith in God. We are saying, Lord, I trust you. I may not understand why I am going through this, but I believe that you are with me and I trust that you will bring me through it. One of the most comforting promises in scripture is found in Matthew 6 verses 33 and 34. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. 
So Jesus reminds us that when we prioritize God's kingdom and his righteousness, he will take care of everything else. This does not mean that we will never face difficulties or challenges, but what it means is that we can trust God to provide for our needs, to guide us through our struggles, and to bring us to a place of peace and provision. It can feel very easy to get caught up in worry, especially when we are facing uncertain or challenging situations. We worry about our finances, our health, our relationships, and to all end, our future. But Jesus invites us to lay these worries at his feet and to trust that he will take care of them even when we do not understand what is happening. Now friends, while this may be difficult, it doesn't mean we should avoid taking responsibility for our lives and just lay down and do nothing. It means that we should do our part, but then trust God to do what we cannot. It means trusting that God is our provider, our protector, and our guide. Faith is essential for moving forward, especially when the way ahead is unclear. Hebrews 11 and verse 1 defines faith as confidence in what we hope for and evidence about what we do not see. Faith is trusting in God's promises even when we cannot see the outcome, even when we cannot see the money in our bank account, even when we are yet to see the healing or the breakthrough, when we are applying for that job and we are not getting called, when we are doing our part and things are not falling into place, when we have faith, we do not worry about tomorrow. It is believing that God is at work even when our circumstances suggest otherwise. In the same breath, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were to be thrown in a pit of fire. They could have doubted God. They could have lost their faith when they saw the soldiers turning up the fire so hot that even them who were heating up the place was being burnt. But they did not lose faith. They went in and God was with them by their side. So one of the best examples of moving forward in faith is found in the story of the Israelites crossing the Red Sea. When they were trapped between the Red Sea and the Egyptian army, God commanded Moses to raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea to divide the water so that the Israelites can go through the sea on dry ground. Now the Israelites had to move forward in faith, trusting that God would make a way where there seemed to be no way. And guess what? He did. God parted the sea and they crossed on dry ground. In the same way, God calls us to step out in faith to move forward even when the path ahead seems impossible. He promises to make a way for us, to guide us through the challenges that we face, and to bring us to a place of safety and a place of provision. Whatever you are going through, it is not too big for the Lord to handle. Whatever situation you face, it is not more than he can bear. It is not impossible for him. So one of the most important and challenging aspects of trusting God is trusting in his timing. This is not easy because as human beings, we don't like to wait. We live in a world that values instant results, but God's timing is often different from our own. Psalm 27 and verse 14 encourages us, Wait on the Lord, be strong and take heart, and wait for the Lord. Waiting on God is not something that's always easy, especially when we are eager for answers. We need the money now. The bills were due yesterday. My health is deteriorating. The doctors need an answer now. It is difficult to wait when we see these things before us, but God's timing is always perfect. He knows what we need, and He knows when we need it. And while we wait, God is still at work, preparing us for what lies ahead. Trusting in God's timing, it requires patience. It requires faith. It requires us to remember that God is never late and that he knows exactly when to move and that he will fulfill his promises in his perfect time. When we trust in the Lord's timing, we can rest in the assurance that he is in control. 
He will take care of everything and he is working all things together for our good that he will bring about his perfect plan in our lives as long as we lean on him instead of doubt him. So as we prepare to get into our prayer for today, we have to remember that when life feels overwhelming, it's important to remember that we are not alone. He is with us and his presence is our source of strength. Isaiah 41 verse 10 reassures us, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God's presence brings peace in the midst of chaos, strength in the midst of weakness, and hope in the midst of despair. Whenever we feel like we cannot go forward, whenever we feel hopeless, we can turn to God and He will renew our strength. He will give us the courage to keep moving forward, to press on towards the goal that He has set before us. Spending time in prayer, reading scripture, and worshiping God are the ways that we will draw near to His presence. As we do this, let us remember His power, His faithfulness, and His love that he is bigger than our problems and that he is more than able to carry us through whatever we face. So if you're feeling overwhelmed and discouraged today, take heart. God sees you, he loves you, and he is with you. He is calling you to keep moving forward, to trust that he will take care of everything and to believe that he is working all things together for your good. So remember, you don't have to face the challenges alone. You don't have to walk into the courtroom alone. You don't have to take that surgery alone. You don't have to walk into the bank alone. You do not even have to cry alone. God's promises are yes and amen. And he knows your needs. He sees your struggles. And he is working on your behalf. Trust in the Lord's timing. Rely on his strength and believe that his plans for you are good. So as we pray, remember that no matter what you face, God is with you. Keep moving forward. Keep trusting that he will take care of everything. And as you do this, you will see his faithfulness, his provision, and his love in ways you have never imagined. Now as we get into our prayer for today, I am reminding you to please click on the subscribe button if you have not yet subscribed as this will help YouTube to push this to people who need to hear this powerful message today and it will help you to never miss another powerful devotional. And if at any time you feel blessed and led in your heart to donate to support this ministry, you may do so by clicking on the first link in our description box below. Now as we pray, let us believe that the Lord is making a way for us even when we do not see a way. Some of you may be going through something personal, but as we pray, I invite you to just give them to the Lord in prayer. Join us in agreement as we ask God to give us the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding, and to keep moving forward as He allows everything to fall in place for us. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you today with hearts that are burdened by the things that we are going through. You understand the frustrations of the people that are tuned in today. Wherever they are in the world, we are asking for your intervention now in the name of Jesus. Life often feels overwhelming, and there are times when we do not know what the next step should be. The challenges, the uncertainties, they all pile up from time to time, and it is easy for us to feel lost and unsure of the path ahead. But in this moment, Lord, Today we choose to place all our worries and our fears in your hands. We know that you are sovereign. We know that you are king of kings and we know that nothing happens outside of your control. You see the beginning and you see the end of our story. And today we trust that you are guiding our steps even when the way forward seems unclear. Lord, we ask you to help us today to keep moving forward to grant us the desire and the faith even when we are tired and afraid. 
Give us the strength to take one more step, one step at a time, trusting that you will provide the light that we need to see the next step ahead. Remind us that we are never alone. You are always with us, walking beside us and sometimes even carrying us through the difficult times. When we feel doubt creeping in and we begin to question if things will ever get better, we are asking you to fill our hearts with your peace that surpasses all understanding. Teach us all to lean not on our own understanding, but to trust in you with all of our heart. Today we surrender our need for control and we ask for the grace to let go and to let you take over. Lord, we know that your plans for us are good, plans to prosper us and not to harm us, to give us hope and a future. Even when we cannot see the full picture, we trust that you are working all things together for our good. So we ask you to help us to be patient in the waiting, knowing that your timing is perfect and that you are never late. As we continue on this journey, strengthen our faith, strengthen our desire, so we can walk in confidence, knowing that what challenges lie ahead, you will fill us up with your spirit so that we can persevere with courage and with joy. Let us find rest in your presence, knowing that you are our refuge and our strength and you are still in the miracle working business. We thank you for your help. We thank you for always being there in times of trouble. We thank you for putting the enemy to shame when he wants us to turn away from you and curse you. Father, we pray for the wisdom to know that when we should move forward, you will move with us and no weapon formed against us shall prosper. We thank you that we hear your voice and we will follow your lead when you guide us, direct our thoughts and align our actions with your will. Lord, we thank you for always being there and we ask you to keep us focused on your promises and let us not be swayed by the distractions and the worries in this world. Today, O oh Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done. Thank you for your unfailing love, the times you forgive us when we mess up, the times when you see us in our sin and you still love us. We thank you for the peace that comes from knowing you are still in control and today we trust you to take care of everything. We thank you for your hand over our finances. We thank you for your hand over our health. We thank you for your hand over our situations in our relationships, in our marriages, in our families, in our jobs, in our plans, in our businesses, in the situations before us that we cannot even speak about. We just hand them over to you right now and we trust you to take care of everything as we place our life, our dreams and our future in your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have made it to the end of this prayer, I want to thank you so much for listening. And again, if you feel blessed by this message and you feel led in your spirit to support or donate to our powerful ministry, you may do so by just clicking on the first link in the description box below. If you would like to be a monthly subscriber to help us to make these videos and devotionals for you every day, you will also see an option in that link to join our monthly ministry prayer group. Thank you so much for tuning into Godly Motivation and we pray that this message will bless your heart and help you to be a blessing to someone else. Thanks so much for watching and we hope you have a blessed and a wonderful rest of your day.